at West Coast Park um, with Yana Muhammad and um, I think that time we took a video where I shared with her what are the things um, that you can buy when you're starting to go on a ketogenic diet and most of the things that I focused on was like groceries that you have to buy so that you can cook at home and prepare your own meals but the reality is when you start on any diet um, it's not about what you eat at home that is the problem most of us will find that we struggle or will have challenges finding food to eat when we are outside so I'm just going to share with her like some of the things that you can do to adapt the ketogenic lifestyle when you are outside the first tip that I'm going to share with you is make sure that you eat at home so if the first meal of your day will be breakfast if you're hungry um, then have a, a, a meal at home whether it's breakfast or lunch and make sure that you don't go out hungry because when you are hungry um, believe me all willpower will go out of the window when you're hungry so you're gonna eat like anything that is inside because that is what is available so first thing is make sure that you're not hungry I had my um, like sort of breakfast before I go out I had uh, I made some keto bread um, two days ago so I have some left so I just have uh, that keto bread with cream cheese and that was my breakfast and like now I am joining Yana for her breakfast and we are at McDonald's West Coast Park so I'm just going to like share with her like what are the things that she can eat and what are the things that she should abstain from um, in order to make sure that she keeps up with the ketogenic style okay we just finished breakfast and now we are walking along West Coast Park this is a really nice place I've not been to this park for a very long time and it has like a lot of facilities so many people coming here and I think like they've got even like some sports activities going on ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. where is it can you see that like there's a, a field with a lot of people I think it's like frisbee game or something and Yana Momad is still with me um, she wants me to teach her to ride bicycle today <laughs> so we'll see if that will happen yeah. um, but I also we're trying to find a seat because I'm pretty sure you would want to know like um, how Yana's experience has been with the ketogenic diet um, and also why she's doing it um, and yeah we'll have like a uh, interview an interview <laughs> with her experience and how she has fared because she's only started for like what four days four days, four days only so um, you know four days on a diet what has it been like and we're just gonna find a place to sit and then we'll 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 come back to that eventually Welcome back to Juzaila's channel. Okay, hi, hello. We are at West Coast Park. We found a shelter. Yes, to finally. See. It took us um, such a long time. The day is so hot. Yeah. Okay, please look here, not at the <laughs> screen. Yeah, the day has been so hot. So we're like looking for a place to sit and do this video. Mm -hmm. And we found this shelter. So, um, yeah, we're really grateful for that. We're on the floor yes. of this shelter because we're trying to we were trying to find a place to put the videos mm -hmm. I mean to put the camera in so like yeah this is I hope this is okay I hope it's not too I, I hope think this is, this like, is okay. the best lighting compared to earlier yeah because mm -hmm. if you're sitting under a shelter or under a tree then you don't get the light as much and then you know you won't be able to see our faces but with this setup then you can see our faces but the light has gone down a little bit okay. starting to get a little <laughs> cloudy um, so yeah let's do this okay so um, I'm gonna start off with some questions. Um, Yana uh, has been my uh, longest friend. You know, we've mm -hmm. we've been, we've known each other since childhood. So she has recently gone onto the ketogenic lifestyle, um, and I'm just gonna ask her a few questions on how she feels about it. So okay, so how do you know about ketogenic diet? Okay, I how do you find out about it? Okay, actually, the, uh, I've come across uh, ketogenic diet words uh, for quite a while, but didn't really uh, put my thoughts to so much about this because okay I'm not an anti-diet person I know I need to diet but the thing is the word diet freaked me out uh, lots of people okay uh, along the years over over that 
over 10 years actually I've put on a lot of weight a lot of people actually has um, has advised me to lose some weight it's not that I do not want to lose some weight I understand so much that actually uh, losing weight is good for health as well as give you more confidence make you look nicer uh, give you more option of clothes to wear however it's it's just too difficult to be on diet because I'm someone who don't like to feel hungry and I like to snacks I, and I enjoy food I eat not because I'm hungry uh, of course I eat when I'm hungry but it's not always that's the case because I enjoy food it's just like no I just enjoy eating uh, okay when Juzala opened the Facebook page of Mariketo <laughs> correct is it Mariketo? Mariketo <laughs> yeah, Singapore <laughs> Okay, I join in just to support her. Okay, I don't really put so much thoughts about it lah. Uh, then in a way, okay, I, I enjoy her post and all. I think we met last week. Okay, uh, last week I wasn't um, on keto yet. I met last week. Uh, so the thing is, uh, okay, uh, I look at how she prepare her food and all. Somehow right there, I see that it's not that difficult. Okay, uh, you just need to put in effort. Uh, to prepare your meals as long as you put in effort to prepare your meals for the next few days i think it's all settled uh so on my first day uh i think my first day is when uh, wait uh hari friday eh i could start my okay um uh, of course wednesday i could start now <laughs> <laughs> okay why do you want to do the ketogenic diet when you after you went into my facebook page and then you see mm -hmm. my post and all that like what makes you want to start on the ketogenic diet Okay, uh, of course to lose weight and to give it a try whether uh, the food, the ketogenic food is able to sustain me the whole day. Of course, I don't put too much hope because um, like what I said earlier, I'm just afraid of being hungry. Okay, so my first ketogenic uh, food that I prepared was shepherd's pie. Okay, uh, I ate there for two days because <laughs> I like, no other food that part of time. Okay, because it's my first, if uh, it's my, uh, it's the first meal that I prepared. So it's actually I ate for two days during lunch time. Actually, I ate during dinner as well. Uh, so for the two days, because it's the only, it's not the only thing that I know how to prepare, but it's the, my first preparation. Okay. okay, so in a way, it seems that uh, I don't feel hungry. It's sustainable. Mm. So I feel like oh it's okay actually, and when I wear I, when I weigh myself the next day I lost three hundred gram. Okay, 300, 300 gram I know it's not significant. It's just three hundred. No, it's a like size of feather. Okay, but even to lose hundred gram is very difficult for me. Um, because when I try to cut down my meal, not diet but cut down cut down rice, cut down on this and that, I didn't even manage to lose any weight. So I was like, okay, so let's see for the coming few days. So I prepare my next batch of food. Then on my uh, third day, I noticed I lost 500 gram. And on my fourth day, means today, this morning I weigh, I lost eight, 800, 800, 800. Uh, I lost 800 gram. Uh, so anyway, all together, it's about 1.4 kilogram. So some mm. rather, it makes me stay motivated. 1.4 uh, mm. kilogram in like 4, four days. days. In 4 days that Yana is started on this mm. ketogenic diet, uh, she has lost 1.4 kilogram. Um, what, like, what was it like? Was it difficult for you to start? Like, uh, were you mm. hungry all the time? Did you... Um, have any carbohydrates cravings like what what, how, what has it been like for these four days okay i don't have any carbohydrate cra craving because i have my keto food uh, all the time i put it beside me at work so whenever i feel hungry i'll just continue eating it and all only that on my first day of the diet my husband bought durian for four packets of styrofoam boxes durian but we add only three uh, <laughs> Okay, so on my first day, yes, I was tempted we by the... Are at the park, so yeah. I think some shirtless <laughs> men just walk behind. That is going to be edited. <laughs> okay, we're at the park, people, I don't know, suntan here or something. I'm... Yeah, but, okay, yeah. okay, so uh, the cheats that I did, the, uh, the, the, the food that I couldn't resist is when my husband bought durian. Durian on uh, my first day of keto diet. Uh, but still, I lost 300 gram. Mm, that mm -hmm. is so great, yeah. Um, so, like, the the sugar intake during this Friday is very limited, right? It's like yeah. totally, like, so... Can, is I it, didn't take any carbo at all, yeah. So, is it right to say that you go cold turkey? 
Like you did not win off carbohydrates slowly. You just straight immediately go into the actually, diet actually, and like not. Actually, it's any. okay. Probably because uh the uh shepherd pie that I make was so rich with a cheese. And all and, and creams, so actually it's okay for the for the shepherd's pie. And how long do you want to do this for? Okay, I'll see. Uh, for about a month. Mm -hmm. How does it goes? If I'm able to lose a significant uh uh amount of weight, definitely I will continue until hopefully I reach my uh, mm -hmm. ideal weight. Hopefully, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so I was just sharing with um Yana that um, the ketogenic I mean the word ketogenic sounds very complicated mm. but um, the, the way it's being prepared the food itself it's not that difficult mm. right it's not easy I think what was uh, what was most challenging for you uh, during these four days that you what was the cha most challenging like you feel like a bit of a struggle perhaps like. okay a bit of a struggle when uh, I eat with friends or colleagues okay I think uh, within all these four days uh, not much of a struggle until yesterday because it's my colleagues farewell so uh, we ordered food so on the table there's fr french fries calamari uh, prawn torpedo means prawn wrapped in spring rolls um, spaghetti pizza lasagna chicken wings uh, I think that's about it. Uh, okay, so in a way, uh, I love the pizzas. I the the pizzas is my favorite. So in a way, what I did is I took a slice, mm -hmm. I scrap the top. Means I took the seafood topping and and also the cheese, but I so called hide hide the um crust away from my colleagues in case they ask me why I'm not eating the the, the crust. I don't want, and and I do not want to answer the question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so in a way, uh, that's the only struggle. Actually, it's not a struggle because I'm okay. So I add lot lots of wings. Uh, my only cheese is I add the calamaris. It's coated with flour, mm. so there's a slight carbohydrate. Mm. And also for the torpedo prawn, I took two and I add the spring roll that's covering it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. 